Hi, welcome back to the channel. The world of motor oil can be a confusing one, especially with the recent introduction of Zero Gudu 16 oil alongside the more established Zero Gui 20. Both are thin synthetic oils designed for improved fuel efficiency, but which one is right for your car? We'll explain in this video. The Zero Gudu in both designations refers to the oil's cold start viscosity, indicating its flowability at low temperatures. The lower the number, the thinner the oil, and the easier it pumps through the engine during cold starts, reducing friction and wear. The second number, 16 or 20, represents the oil's viscosity at operating temperature. Here's a breakdown. Cold cranking viscosity rating signifies how easily the oil circulates when the engine is cold. The lower number, zero dodu in this case, indicates better flow at very low temperatures, allowing for easier starting and quicker lubrication of engine components. High temperature viscosity rating represents the oil's thickness at normal operating temperatures. A higher number, 20 in this case, indicates a thicker oil film that provides better wear protection at high temperatures and under heavy loads. Zero Do 16 oil is a relatively new entrant in the market, specifically designed for modern engines with tighter tolerances. These engines require thinner oil for optimal performance and fuel economy. Compared to Zero Do 20 oil, Zero Do 16 offers slightly improved fuel efficiency Due to its lower viscosity, zero W do seeking or reduces internal friction within the engine, leading to a marginal increase in gas mileage, typically around 1 to 2 percent. Improved fuel efficiency often translates to lower emissions output. However, it's important to note that these benefits are relatively small and may not be noticeable in everyday driving. Zero W20 oil has been the industry standard for lightweight engine oil for many years. It offers a good balance between fuel efficiency and wear protection for a wide range of car models. Here's why Zero W20 remains a popular choice. Zero W20 oil is readily available at most auto parts stores and dealerships, making it easier to find during oil changes. Zero W20 has a long history of successful use in modern engines, with established wear protection capabilities. Zero U20 can be used in a wider range of car models compared to the more specific requirements of Zero U16 oil. When choosing an oil between these two, the most important factor is always your car manufacturer's recommendation. Consult your owner's manual for the specified oil viscosity for your vehicle. Using the wrong oil can void your warranty and potentially damage your engine. If you live in a region with extremely cold winters, Zero Voodoo 16 oil might be a better choice due to its superior cold start flowability. For severe driving conditions like frequent towing or track use, Zero W 20 oil's slightly thicker film might offer better wear protection. Or older engines with looser tolerances, Zero Voodoo 20 oil might be more suitable. As an important note, if your car manufacturer recommends Zero W16 oil, it's generally not advisable to switch to Zero W20 unless specifically approved by the manufacturer. While Zero W20 might not cause immediate damage, it might not provide the optimal lubrication for your engine in the long run. Because Zero W16 is a relatively new oil at the industry, there are some arguments for and against this type. For the benefits, proponents argue that the improved fuel efficiency of Zero Do 16 can lead to a reduction in overall greenhouse gas emissions. Zero Do 16 represents a technological advancement in engine oil, catering to the needs of modern high efficiency engines. As car manufacturers continue to focus on fuel economy, Zero Do 16 might become the standard for future vehicles. Regarding the disadvantages, Critics argue that the real-world fuel efficiency benefits of Zero Do 16 are negligible and not worth the potential risks. Currently, Zero Do 16 oil is not as readily available as Zero Do 20, making it inconvenient for some car owners. Some experts express concern that the ultra-thin nature of Zero Do 16 might not provide adequate wear protection, 
especially in older engines or under heavy loads. In conclusion, there's no definitive answer to whether zero to 16 is just height. It depends on your priorities and the specific needs of your car. If fuel efficiency is your top concern and you drive a modern vehicle with the manufacturer's recommendation for zero to 16, it might be a good choice. However, for most drivers, the proven performance and wider availability of 0 to 20 make it a safe and reliable option. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, and also subscribe to this channel for more informative videos.